Hi, this is Ron Erickson from the Yankee Hill Winery Cooking School. Today I'm going to make up a soup because it's kind of cloudy outside. And this is one that I used to have in one of my restaurants. And it is an English soup called Kakaliki. And in that, you can have two small or one big leek, some butter, some cream, salt and pepper, flour, and two cups of chicken stock. And the whipping cream is one cup. So to start, we're just going to cut the leeks up. And you want these, you know, it's up to you. You can have them coarse or not. Some people will also, after the soup is made, put this in a blender if they want it real smooth. And I will be cutting up here. I take some of the light green because I like that look in the soup. And so we'll take it to about there. And then we'll put our butter in there and turn the stove on, get it warmed up. And then just put my leeks right in there. So we'll chop up the other one. Okay, like that. Now we want to just stir the leeks around and make sure they get sauteed with the butter. And then we will be adding flour to it, and that will be our thickening agent. And we want to put in two tablespoons of flour. And so you want to saute these down a little bit. And then we add our flour. And some people ask, can we use olive oil for doing this? You can, but the butter brings out the nutty flavor in the leeks. And most people have not cooked with leeks before, so... But once you try this, it is really good. Uh, we have this recipe in our Huga class. And people were a little bit reluctant when we were making it up, but once they tasted it, they thought it was just great. And so here we have the leek softening. And so we'll take our flour and put it in. So we get two tablespoons. Turn the stove down just a little bit. And then we want to just stir this in so it is like a paste. And if you have seen the uh, bechamel recipe that we posted, uh, that's basically what we're doing. We're taking a roux and having leeks in it. Now we want that to cook for just a little bit because otherwise it will have too much of a floury taste.
And so I'm going to pour a little bit of chicken stock in. And when we do that, you want to pour it a little at a time and you'll see that this will just thicken right up. And you could add cream or stock, either one. Here I'm going to add some cream in. And if the cream just came from the refrigerator, you want to let it cook for just a little bit before you stir. You want it to heat up. And you can see that's getting into a nice thick paste. So I'll continue to put a little more in. And if you just do it little by little, rather than dumping it all at once, you will have a lot better results. Because you put it in, it thins out, and then you, as the heat hits it, it's going to thicken back up. And so there's our cream. And people also ask, can I use non-fat milk? Yes, you can use anything you want. Will it taste as good as mine? No, it won't. So we want this to come back to a simmer. And then I will start adding my chicken stock in. And we want to add chicken stock until it gets to a thickness that we like. So. And now I'm going to just add a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, so each time, now you have to stir it and you want to make sure that you stir it on the bottom. So it won't scorch. Okay, so we'll let that just come back. And I'm going to taste it. Always taste. Ooh, that's good. I think just a pinch more salt. And there we go, cockaliki soup. So please give this a try. I think you'll like it. It's great with a nice piece of bread. And 
I think you'll enjoy it tremendously. So, this is Ron Erickson at the Yankee Hawaiianery Cooking School. I hope everyone is getting along. Thank you.